Okay, Virgo, let's have a look and see who's coming in for you for love, romance, and relationships. Virgo, Oracle of Love, who's coming forward for Virgo? Who's coming in? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo. Okay, I feel like this card wanted to come out too. Okay, a few cards. <clears throat> Page of Wands. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here with the Page of Wands. This is a beautiful energy. It's someone that's quite young and vibrant. I feel like they have a creative pursuit or creative talent. I feel they may be a little bit younger than you in age, Virgo. If this is not the case, I feel they have a very youthful appearance or disposition. The way they, they, the way they maintain themselves, their mannerisms, um, you know, the way they speak. It's not an immaturity, but I would say it's qu it's quite youthful, playful, or mischievous, which I often associate with the Page of Wands. I feel like right now they're living their best life. They're doing something that resonates with their heart, with their bucket list, with their wishes, desires. I feel like they're a bit of a free spirit. Um, definitely different to you here, Virgo, which I think you'd complement each other in a lot of ways because of their, um, they're, they're quite easygoing and easygoing nature. Um, they don't take anything too heavy. I feel as though um, they embrace all the opportunities that come their way with the Page of Swords. She is playing an instrument here. So for some of you, this is someone with musical talent or artistic ability in some capacity here. It can be someone that's quite adventurous, as I said, has moved around a lot, lived in different locations around the world, lived in different cities, or possibly travels for work with Page of Wands energy. Okay, the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is beautiful. This is potentially you falling in love. Um, this is someone that's capable of love, capable of giving you commitment, capable of making you feel special, making you feel desired, making you feel abundant. Um, beautiful energy around them. I feel like they're coming in with an offer of love. Now, there's someone that gives their heart. Um, I wouldn't say freely, but when they give their heart, they give their heart. So... I like what they're coming up with the Ace of Cups. Um, I feel like this person may want engagements or marriage um, as well. Often I associate anything sort of religious to commemorate a union or a relationship will be around this person and you or has been around this person already. So they may be coming from a relationship where they were engaged, fianced, um, wed, you know, um, promise to where someone was given a promise ring or some sort of union, um, commemorative union took place here with the Ace of Cups. But it is water energy, it is intuitive ability, and it is summering, someone that's offering you their half, that they're, sorry, offering you their cup um, full, full all the way. So this is someone who's quite um, optimistic, I think. With the Ace of Cups energy. They're quite religious and or spiritual as well, I feel. Um, this helps them. This helps gives them, give them solace in some way, shape, or another. Okay, Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy here with the three. Um, I feel as though this is a card of negotiation, support, um, and, and it's quite an uplifting energy. I feel like this person could be around finance or could be in a support role of some kind here. Um, say, for example, they could be reporting to the director. Um, they could be supporting the logistics team. Um, they could be supporting um, an author. I feel like they're in some sort of support um, role here in terms of finance, possibly for their job, or they're being supported financially somehow, possibly through a creative pursuit. They may have a lot of money because of this creative pursuit, or they may have several income streams here as indicated by the three. Now, this person could also have, could also be coming into your life at a time where you do have other people around you. Um, I feel this person might have options as well. So it's you that's coming in, Virgo. Also, possibly with another Earth sign, um, another Earth sign that's coming in for them as well. So it's almost like double whammy for them with the Three of Pentacles. But look, it is a card of negotiation. It is a it is a card of sacrifice or compromise. So I think this person is quite compromising or is willing to sacrifice certain things in their life for you and this relationship. 
Okay, the chariot, the card of cancer here. This is someone emotionally driven, emotionally available, successful or in the public eye in some way, shape or form. They've come to prominence in their life, possibly to luck, success, abundance or prosperity. The chariot is seen as a card of um, being the, the, the driver of your own success, of your own life. I feel like this person lives life to the fullest. I do. I feel like they're a bit of a thrill seeker. They're very much a person that's in the moment. I feel as though they go with the flow of something resonating with them they follow that passion it doesn't it doesn't um cancer element around them indicates they are quite nostalgic however or sentimental so they are quite thoughtful as much as they may be quite um embracing um embrace a lot of experiences people places etc i feel as though they form attachments to people very very quickly um to the homes they've lived in to the friends they've had to the people they've been involved with in relationships they have a very strong ability to attach to people, places, and things. They're also a bit of a dweller or a dreamer. So they could be quite creative, creatively inclined, which I think they are, Virgo. But I love they're quite prominent with the chariot. They, they definitely turn a lot of heads with their charm, with their mannerisms, their looks, their appeal. They're, they're very appealing is what I'm seeing here. Um but there is a lot of success around them here with the chariot, which is quite interesting to see. I think this person may work in production or may work from a very, for a very reputable or well-known global company with the chariot card. There's, there's movement around them here. If you like this card, Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here with the Six of Swords. This, per this, this person has definitely moved away from negativity in their life, and I think it's made them who they are. I almost feel like they've encountered something in their life. It might have been abuse. It might have been depression. It might have been a near-death experience. They've encountered a very dark phase in their life, but they've moved away from it. And I think the person they are today is a, is a result of what they've encountered in their past. Um it's dark and mysterious and possibly secretive. It's something that they hold close to their chest, Virgo, which they eventually will reveal. But I almost feel like they've they've been carried away. I feel like there's a notion of they've been saved um, or they save people from, from this. So this could be their job, actually, if they are quite nurturing, which I think they are. They save people from what could be potentially hazardous um, things happening to them, whether it's like a paramedic, um, whether it's working with finance, helping people make the right decisions with their finances, um, helping people make the right decisions for themselves, their mind, the swords does rule mentality. So maybe they're in psychology or counseling or like a youth worker or help underprivileged people um, or, or like a lower uh, socioeconomic group in the community maybe with the six of swords um it's also a card of movement and taking off i feel like something around them is taking off whether they're flying a lot relocating traveling um, or something around them is definitely taking off and pursuing new heights with the six of swords but it is air energy and i do think they're they're becoming more assertive with their um with their attachments and whatever it has has caused them any pain or grief in the past Okay, Knight of Swords, more air energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius with the Knight of Swords. This person is quite impulsive and inquisitive. I feel like with the Knight of Swords, there's determination with the Knight of Swords. I feel like they're quite ambitious. Sometimes I feel like they're very much like you in a lot of ways, Virgo. When they want something and they have their eyes on something, they don't see or hear anything else. And I almost feel like they become narrow-minded and all that exists is the end result. All that exists is the outcome. And all that exists is how to get to that outcome. So in one way, I feel like you share this in common because of a somewhat analytical nature that rivals yours. However, in another aspect, I feel like there's... Um, I feel like they're very quick with words. I feel like they're maybe not as deliberate in their speech. The Knight of Swords can be someone that cuts away from negativity. I definitely feel like this person is working on themselves. I think they're working on their own communication, communication with other people or how they communicate with other people. Now, they could be also in a role where they do liaise with a lot of different stakeholders, departments, internal and external staff, clients, team members, superiors, uh, directors, and things like this. So I think communication is very important for this person. But they are very determined. They're very curious, very curious-minded. Can be a little bit impulsive, though, as well with Knight of Swords energy. I feel like conversation between the two of you, there'll, there'll definitely be a lot to talk about. This person's very stimulating, very mentally engaging 
with the Knight of Swords. Okay, King of Pentacles. This is seen as a Taurus. It can be a Virgo or Capricorn though as well. This is someone that's deeply rooted in something. I feel like they're deeply rooted in tradition, um, deeply rooted in infatuation with you. Um, uh, it's, it's a sense of establishment. So I think on the career sense, this person could be well established in their job, in their business if they have one. I feel like it could even be like a family business. Um, this could be their family tree. They may have heritage, um, uh, deep, uh, long heritage that stretches back generations and generations to um, some sort of link to a different country, different nationality possibly. Um it's someone that enjoys the finer things in life as well. It's someone that's at a stage in their life when they're enjoying their life. So enjoying money, I think they're up at a, they're quite established in the in their job description, I think, or their position. And I think because of this, they're at a position where they're able to enjoy their success. Their hard earned success is what I'm seeing with the King of Pentacles. I feel like they're also a traditionalist, which I think the King of Pentacles is. Uh, culture comes to mind, um, values, beliefs, morals, traditions. So I think they're quite traditional in one sense or another um, with the King of Pentacles energy here. But they could have success, monetary success, nice cars, luxury items, investment properties, um, and things like this. Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Okay, you do have two threes here, Virgo. So I'm wondering if there's there'll be two different people that come into your path when this person makes themselves known to you. Um, if this is not the case, then some of you are conflicted about this person. And now I wanted to mention with the King of Pentacles, some of you know this person through your career somehow, or you've already established contact with this person. And the three suddenly causes a crowd, suddenly causes conflict or the element of choice. So I think this is something this person is currently going through and you're, you are definitely part of their choice. The other person could be an earth sign or, or an air sign here. Um, and they have to make a decision about the two of you. But I also feel for some, this person has encountered deceit or angst or worry. Look, I definitely feel they've had a very um, life-changing experience happen to them, whether it was in a relationship, whether it was an injury maybe. We do see blood smeared here or what looks like blood. So I do feel if they have it in some sort of injury, abuse, accident, um, or pain, literally just pain from the heart because of what's happened to them, they've definitely learned from this. But I do think there's deceit in their past with the Three of Swords, or they help rehabilitate people who are in this sort of position in some capacity. Okay, when and where you'll meet, you have the Six of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups and the Four of Wands. Okay, Six of Wands. You're going to meet at a time where you're coming to prominence in your career here, Virgo. It's almost like you're making a massive life-changing decision and this person is going to come in around you at this time. The Six of Wands is all about prominence. So it's almost like if you hit a milestone in your social media influences, if you finally gain that lucrative deal, if you've suddenly been allocated your own team, it's a notion of having supporters or encouragers behind you and you coming to prominence or even promotion at a job. I feel like this around this time, some of you will meet this person there's no particular signs that have come up but that's okay we can still try reading to the cards the knight of cups is water energy i feel as though this is this offer that's coming through and if you're meeting at a time of the Knight of Cups, you're being offered. It's almost like someone is offering you assist. This person is offering you assistance. Maybe they're offering to buy you a drink. Maybe you're out. Maybe they're offering help. Maybe they're offering their services. Maybe you're meeting through a business transaction or through career. And somehow during the time that you meet, you're being you're receiving a lot of offerings. Um, and again, things are getting more complicated. You can see the sort of landscape here. It's, it's, it's increased responsibility or increased offers. So I think this person is coming in at a time when you're receiving other love offers um, with the Knight of Cups or offers of friendship even. Around the time you meet, you meet new friends, this person will possibly come in here. Some of you with the Five of Cups, you will encounter some sort of loss or struggles before this person comes into your path, especially those that have been dealing with a partner who has been deceitful or dishonest uh, or has had someone else around them. The Three of Cups looks built here, so I feel as though if this is a third-party situation that happened here, uh, Virgo, I feel as though this person is... Um, 
coming in at a time when if you've recently encountered this in your life after this the, the storm settles and everything um, blows over i think when uh, everything calms down this person is going to make their way in your life but it's also a time when you're leaving something toxic behind so whether it is a third party situation whether it is re recovering from a substance abuse issue um, or recovering from an injury or recovering um, mentally um, or recovering financially it's accepting loss and moving on it's water under a bridge here um, because I think once you heal or reconcile with whatever you're losing or walking away from I feel as though this is where this relationship lies and you're not seeing it yet but it'll come to you for some of you you're meeting at festivities here an engagement party a wedding an event a gala a conference a convention um, work drinks it's a place of festivity, someone celebrating someone else's success. Um, it could be a birthday. It, it, you know, it's really, it could be a tri um, like a tribute to someone else. Um, it could be when you're moving property, but it's at an, quite an elaborate venue. There's a lot of festivities and people are in very high spirits around you. So some of you are absolutely meeting at some sort of function here. And it could be work-related or it could be personal as well. But the six of one's energy is, uh, sorry, the four of one's energy can be seen as a wedding. So... Um, it can also be that a married friend, girlfriend, um, friend, cousin, family member, um, associate, you know, it, it, there's marriage around you here. So I feel like you might be introduced, possibly. I did say offers coming in, so someone will offer to introduce you to someone, which eventually could actually prove to be this person that you'll end up in a relationship with here, Virgo, or you're meeting at this very elaborate function, um, with the uh, four of wands here. So I will leave it at that, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching.